buck up, buck up, buck up, buck up, buck up. <laughs> you know the deal. The last thing we're going to talk about with exponents is what's called powers to powers. And then we're just going to do a quick review of the exponent laws that we've talked about. So here we have a question where we have 2 to the power of 3, and then that whole question there is to the power of 2. So here our base is actually 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is being multiplied by itself 2 times. So what I'm going to do is write that as a repeated multiplication question. So once again, our base here is 2 to the power of 3, and we're multiplying it times itself 2 times. So here I've rewritten that as a repeated multiplication question. It's 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3. Well, as we discussed in the first video on exponent laws, when we're multiplying and we have the same base, we add the exponents. So here we're going to add 3 plus 3. The base stays the same, and we end up with 2 to the power of 6. So here's another example where we have a power to a power. In this case, it's 5 to the power of 7, all to the power of 3. And here, our base is 5 to the power of 7. 5 to the power of 7 is being multiplied times itself 3 times. So to explore this, let's write that as repeated multiplication. So since 5 to the power of 7 is our base, we're multiplying 5 to the power of 7 times itself 3 times. So there we have 5 to the power of 7 to the power of 3 written as repeated multiplication. And as we already discussed, when we're multiplying powers with the same base, uh, what we do is simply add the exponents. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21. So we end up with 5 to the power of 21. Well, looking at the original questions here and the powers that we had and the exponents that we ended up with, what you probably recognize here is when you have a power to a power, what you're actually doing is you're multiplying those exponents. So for the first example, we had 2 to the power of 3, all to the power of 2. 3 times 2 is 6. For the second one, we had 5 to the power of 7, all to the power of 3. And we ended up with 5 to the power of 21. Well, 7 times 3 is 21. So another example is if we have, say, x to the power of 5, and we take that as our base and put that to the power of 4, say. Well, as we've seen now, what we're doing in this case is we're multiplying those two exponents, 5 times 4. So we would end up with x to the power of 20. So what we're going to do lastly here is just do a quick review of the exponent laws that we've seen so far. So the first exponent law we looked at was where we were multiplying powers with the same base. And in order to sort of generalize these exponent laws, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of algebra here. So our first rule had to do with multiplying. So I'm going to use x instead of a number. And instead of using an actual exponent, I'm going to use m. And if we were to multiply that by a value with the same base, it would also have to be x, the base. The exponent doesn't have to be the same, though, so I'm going to use a different letter for that. And in this case, I'm going to use n. So here, we're multiplying two powers that have the same base. The base is x. And as we saw in the first video, what we do with those exponents in that case is we add them. So we would add m plus n. Well, when we're dividing with powers, again, I'm going to generalize here and use a little bit of algebra. So instead of using an actual number, I'm going to use x again, and I'm going to use x to the power of m, and now divided by x to the power of n. And as we saw in the previous video, uh, when we're dividing powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. What's important to note here is it's always the exponent with the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator. And finally, in this video, we saw powers to powers. So when I'm generalizing here, I'm going to say I have x to the power of m, and then it's all to the power of n. Well, as we saw in this video, our exponent law there is we multiply the exponents. So we end up with x to the power of m times n.
and that's a review of the exponent laws where we're multiplying, dividing, or a power to a power, all with the same base.